hi dear uh, hello dear fans friends and subscribers of uh, cricket happenings uh, this is your host ram uh, welcoming you uh, to your sunday edition of the cricket happenings with the news that bangladesh uh, are the ones who are the, has become the second team uh, to qualify uh, for the world cup main draw which is starting on 15th of uh, 15th of uh, this month uh, and today uh, well it was uh, i mean today was a day which was definitely interrupted by rain uh, after bangladesh definitely got a good thing going for them and that was tamim iqbal running into form and scoring the first ever t20 century by a bangladeshi batsman uh, in t20 and uh, what a knock it was uh, it was started with lots of brilliant strokes from uh, tamim iqbal and uh, oman uh, well they definitely as i said because of the rain uh, it was uh, really really reduced and every time there were rain interruptions and finally the target was becoming higher and higher for oman and finally uh, the uh, oman so oman's uh, but oman would be very proud of the fact that uh, they they came into this t20 world cup uh, they they played it and they conquered it because for them uh, it is a very very big flip uh, to uh, to their uh, uh, to their uh, uh, to, to their country's uh, um, uh, you know uh, entry that is debut in the t20 world cup on their debut uh, they actually upset ireland and that was never been done so they are going back with a great record to their name oman and oman u team definitely rock uh, they are they have ounces of talent uh, there is no doubt about it well dear friends of campus i know that uh, my sound delivery is not coming good i do have a sort of a niggle in my throat uh, but still cricket is very dear to me uh, i keep waxing a lot um so please bear with me uh, well so that is as far as so bangladesh actually uh, got into the world cup so bangladesh and afghanistan are the two teams uh, that have qualified for the main draw of the t20 world cup and uh, the other match between ireland and netherlands was of no consequence but uh, it, uh, again rain was another small sport there it ended in a six over shootout uh, and it was netherlands who were the victors with paul van mikkeren uh, the pace bowler uh, making rapid inroads and also picking up his career best figures of four wickets for 11 runs plenty of bowling from paul van mikkeren uh, of netherlands and for ireland uh, it was a very very sorry exit from the tournament uh, and i'm sure ireland would uh, definitely like to forget this uh, t20 world cup because they first they got beaten by oman they were upset by oman and then um, in the last game they had a loss to netherlands and uh, netherlands got their first victory uh, under their belt in the t20 world cup but both the teams are still out so afghanistan and oman it's congratulations to afghanistan and oman uh, sorry afghanistan and bangladesh uh, for actually qualifying for the main draw of the world cup it starts with the tomorrow is a rest day in the world cup and the day after tomorrow we will have india versus new zealand uh, clashing in the first match of the uh, world cup uh, proper one could say so uh, so let's uh, have a look uh, at uh, what happened today so first let's have a look at the shootout uh, which happened because of rain at the himachal pradesh uh, cricket association stadium here in dharamshala where it was a shootout between netherlands and ireland it was a six over shootout uh, ireland actually won the toss they put netherlands in and netherlands got off to a very good start stephen myberg one would i mean ireland would definitely remember them uh, for the way he actually played in that uh, last t20 world cup uh, uh, i think to actually uh, push ireland out and today myberg cracked 27 of just 18 deliveries with five fours uh, and uh, he did his job uh, and he was run out for uh, 27 uh, but before that before my bug was gone uh, netherlands were in some deep trouble in the sense they got in, uh, themselves into lot of trouble uh, with their uh, top order uh, really really caving in with uh, cooper out for a duck to the bowling of uh, the spinner dockrell 
Real of Phantom Arm was caught by Murta with a bottle of Dark Hill for two and Wesley for AC was dismissed stumped by O'Brien of the point of Dark Hill for eight and that left it 33 for three and then when my bulk followed they were 58 for four uh, and so just six over shootout and then Peter Bonin run out for 14 of nine balls with three fours finally Netherlands ending up with a total of 59 for five of that six overs uh, Murtag one over none for nine but look at Dockerell's figures he bowled two overs just gave away seven runs and picked up three wickets uh, Andy McBrien is one over was uh, clicked for 16 runs Kevin O'Brien went for 12 of his one over Rankin disappeared for nine of his one over 59 for five and now Ireland's turn uh, to actually chase the target well for Ireland um, it didn't start off well first Hassan Malik bowled a wonderful over the first over uh, was bowled by Hassan Malik uh, and he just gave just gave one run I mean he just gave five runs for the first over and then it was the turn of uh, Van der Gupten uh, to actually take advantage of that uh, very fine over from Hassan Malik uh, and he, he was the one who actually uh, got the breakthrough uh, by dismissing the uh, Irish captain uh, w uh, William Porterfield for five or six balls, one four. Um, after that, uh, Sterling uh, played. Uh, Sterling uh, made 15. So Sterling was the only one who could get on to some double figures uh, in this match. And then it was the Van Meekeren show. Uh, in fact, Van Meekeren started off the first over uh, and had two scalps. First, he picked up uh, Kevin O'Brien, tried to pull him. Sila took the catch. He was gone for not. And then Peter Sterling, who was the highest scorer in this Ireland innings of 15 of seven balls, was a victim of the bowling of Van Mikkeren. And uh, after that, we saw Real of Vandermoe pick up the wicket of Gary Wilson. Uh, and the Ireland innings, um, well, they definitely were finding it very difficult because first it was the spinner that Van der Gupten giving them the breakthrough. Paul Van Mikkeren getting two wickets. Pressure started building, but they still had hope. They had Niall O'Brien uh, and Pointer there. But, uh, well, all that they could see is that a pointer was out for naught. Uh, and then it was Van Mikkeren coming in the final over uh, and cleaning up uh, both Sorensen and Docker for 9 and 0, respectively, which uh, left Niall O'Brien not out of 4, could not get the strike. Uh, and uh, that, that said that, um, that Ireland had to end up with 47 for 7, with Netherlands registering a victory by 12 rounds in the last match here. And Hassan Malik won for five runs. Gupton won for four runs. But Paul Van Mikkeren was uh, a superb. Uh, two overs, uh, no maiden, 11 runs and four wickets. Stuck to a good line. Real of Andamal uh, one over for three runs and two wickets. Mudassar Bukhari bowled one over for five. Uh, that was the penultimate over. Mudassar Bukhari uh, really st uh, stuck on well. And Ireland uh, were, uh, were, the, were the losers. Paul Van Mikkeren of Netherlands was named man of the match. And for Ireland, as I said, uh, they, it's a sad sit for them. They would definitely like to forget this uh, T20 World Cup because uh, things are not gone right for them right from the beginning. Uh, losing against Oman and then uh, again in the last match they lost. So they would definitely like to forget uh, this uh, particular T20 World Cup. Uh, well, so that is the, the so the journey ends for Ireland here uh, and uh, and Netherlands. And now let's have a look at the next match that followed. Uh, that was between. Uh, Bangladesh and Oman. Uh, well, it all started uh, with um, Bangladesh uh, actually. Uh, again, uh, this was a place at the uh, Dharamshala where it is the Himachal Pradesh Cricket Association Stadium in Dharamshala. And, uh, and you would remember Dharamshala was the venue for the uh, Indo Pakistan Clash 2, and then finally it got shifted. And I'm glad it got shifted because, uh, especially considering that the Dharamshala ground. Uh, is uh, is actually uh, on a sort of a hill hill station one could say uh, there is uh, there's always a possibility of rain and that was the rain which uh, came in to really ruin the proceedings between Bangladesh and Oman uh, and Bangladesh were the ones uh, who actually uh, batted first it was uh, Oman who actually won the toss uh, and they decided to uh, insert uh, Bangladesh uh, to bat first uh, and uh, well for Bangladesh the beginning was a bit slow. We saw Bilal Khan, uh, the left-arm pace bowler from Oman, uh, putting up a wonderful exhibition of pace bowling uh, by really getting the ball to swerve away. 
and he was bowling a very very good line it was not easy in fact he bowled the first over to Tami Mikbal just giving him a single by keeping him on the crease uh, so Mr. Sarkar and Tami Mikbal uh, slowly uh, went their way but Tami Mikbal was the one with the aggressor uh, and he has been in some great form in this uh, World Cup and uh, I think uh, for for uh, my gut feeling says after seeing three good innings from Tami Mikbal uh, with the consistency that he has shown uh, I, I probably have to really say uh, that uh, uh, Tami Mikbal to me in this, uh, in this T20 World Cup might be the toast of Bangladesh because uh, he has been scoring runs, he has been looking in fine neck and what a way. I mean the other day we saw he missed his century but today he became the first Bangladeshi batsman ever to score at, um, a century uh, in, in T20 cricket as Tami Mikbal reeled off 103 runs of 63 deliveries with 10 fours and 5 sixes which were hit of the spinners a wonderful exhibition of batting from Tami Mikbal and he was absolutely pumped up uh, he was um, um, you know he was he was really pumped up uh, he was absolutely um, he was he was so joyous about it why not what a century I mean a T20 cricket in a score of 180 for 2 uh, Tami Mikbal uh, stood like a colossus 103 colossus innings from uh, an ink um, uh, which, uh, which had some uh, great uh, variety in it uh, and uh, Tami Mikbal, what a knock, one is really happy to see Tami Mikbal get so many runs and he has been into Bangladesh cricket for quite a long time but in this World Cup he's showing that he's also getting the consistency back and that really tells me that this will be a worrisome factor for the opposition according to me because Tami Mikbal getting in good form is not good news for the opposition, he can be really someone and and he has also a uh, dare to play his strokes and that is another good thing because we know that Tamim Bigbal has started, has started his career as a real dasher and then he actually uh, you know cooled down a bit but once again Tamim Mikbal probably the approach here that Tamim Mikbal has, uh, has, uh, has taken to uh, is to really go and attack and that's what he did precisely to reel off 103 runs, unbeaten runs at that of just 63 deliveries, 10 fours and 5 sixes uh, and Bangladesh ended up with 180 for 2 of their 20 overs. Soumya Sarkar was bowled by Lal Cheta, the spinner, for 12 of 22 balls with 2 fours. Sabir Rahman tongue 44 uh, of 26 deliveries with 5 fours and 1 six and he sent and one of the sixes that Sabir Rahman hit was a real monster as he, he really really almost cleared the ground um, and Shakib Al Hassan was not on 17 of 9 balls with 2 fours and 1 6 and Bangladesh shattered a score of 180 for 2 with Tami Mikbal hitting the first ever century by a Bangladeshi batsman in T20 cricket. Uh, the bowling as I said Bilal Khan was absolutely impressive in fact he was given the full quota of 4 overs and uh, what a splendid exhibition of bowling from Bilal Khan the left arm pacer 4 overs no maiden none for 16 uh, for uh, Bilal Khan uh, Amir Ali, 4 was done for 28, Lal Cheta uh, was today really uh, getting some severe tap from the batsman, 3 overs, uh, league 35 runs, 1 wicket, Munis Ansari of whom much was expected with this Lasit Malinga type of bowling uh, was a real disappointment, uh, his 4 overs uh, were taken to the cleaners for 50 runs uh, without a wicket, Mehran Khan bowled 1 over for 11, Kawar Ali bowled 3 overs, one for 24, Amir Kalim bowled 1 over for 15. Oman uh, were given a target, in fact, uh, as I said, Oman were given a target 180 for 2, uh, but uh, the target kept on coming down in the sense uh, because of the rain interruption, uh, nothing was really clear and it was very difficult for Oman because the stop start, the rain used to fall, they used to go back again, the covers used to be pulled in, pulled out, and Oman used to come. So definitely it really disturbed the rhythm for Oman, I thought. Uh, well, today it all started with the uh, aggressive Omani opener, Zishan Maksud uh, being consumed pretty early in the piece as Taskin Ahmed uh, got Zishan Maksud uh, caught by Mahmudula for not. And then Kawar Ali hit one big six on the bowling of, uh, I think it was of Al Amin Hussain uh, in, the, in, the, in the fourth over, but he perished in the same over itself as he uh, tried one more uh, with, uh, with, uh, with trying to big hit. But this time it locked nicely into the hands of Mashrafi Murtaza and the Dave. He was gone for 8 of 14 balls with 1 sex. 
Jatinder Singh was very, very impressive with his stroke making. In fact, he started off with a nice bunt down the offside. Uh, he played one through the onside for four, beautifully glanced one, uh, and it was a very impressive knock from Jatinder Singh. Uh, 25, 20 balls, 4 4. But the problem for uh, Oman was that the target was revised, and as I said, rain kept on interrupting. And then finally, Oman had to, uh, Oman got a very impossible task. First, it was the run rate was like they needed 12 runs per over. Then finally, uh, with, with the rain keeping on interrupting, uh, the Omanis had no chance. The Omani cricketers had no no other chance but to really throw the willow at the ball. And in doing so, they kept on losing wickets. Adam Ilias was run out of 13 of 13 balls, two fours. Amir Kalim was Shakib Hassan picked up uh, four wickets as uh, he got Kalim Hassan caught. Everyone were trying to actually hit the. Uh, try to you know connect and you know because there was no other choice for them but i was happy to see that they went down swinging i mean rally out for four Mehran khan for three sultan ahmed the uh, captain was out for one uh, lal Cheda was one uh, to sabir rahman munis ansari not out three bilal khan not out one oman 65 for nine uh, and, and as i said they got advised targets so on the duckworth lewis method bangladesh winning the match by 54 runs and booking their ticket uh, to the main draw of the T20 World Cup and congratulations to the Bangladeshi cricket team who will join Afghanistan uh, in the T20 World Cup uh, proper which starts on 15th of March. Task in Hamad uh, once again showing very good, uh, showing his uh, good bowling skills. Two overs now made an eight runs on one wicket. Al Amin Hussain also bowled well, two overs for ten runs on one wicket. Abu Hidar Roni bowled two overs, uh, he, he was uh, hit for 15. Shakibil Hassan picking up four wickets for 15 of his three overs. Mashraf Amitaza one for 10, Sabir Rahman one for five. Tami Mikbal was the right choice for the man of the match for scoring the first ever T20 century by a Bangladeshi batsman in T20 cricket. So Bangladesh have already booked their ticket. Uh, so as I already said, but let's talk about Oman. Uh, this gives me a chance to just uh, say a few things about Oman. Well, Oman, uh, one has to, one has to really, really. Uh, say that uh, Oman has caused the biggest upset of the World Cup uh, I mean to come here ranked 29th in the world in the cricketing world and come here and scalp Ireland was something of a great achievement in fact Oman uh, after looking at this team this team is having I think they are definitely going to make a lot of sounds in the future for me because uh, they have definitely showed uh, look at that if you if you look at their uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, just looking at them, uh, I feel Zishan Maksud. Uh, they have a wonderful, uh, they wonderful, they have a wonderful pair of openers uh, in Zishan Maksud, uh, who is not afraid to really, really, um, uh, you know, go for the uh, go for the real hits. There, Kamar Ali has also showed that he has the ability to clear the fence too. So both are some. Uh, I mean, in T20 cricket, that's what you need. You need some aggressive openers, and that is definitely present in this Oman team. Zishan Maksud and Kawar Ali. Jatinder Singh has shown uh, what a uh, what a what a nice player he is. In the sense, we have seen uh, his quality of strokes that Jatinder Singh has played is something to be really admired. That really shows that Jatinder Singh is having some class in him. Um, and then uh, and then and then also let's talk about Amir Ali. Uh, who actually and uh, Amir Ali actually came there as a debutant. He was the, he was playing for the first time in his life for Oman uh, on his T20. He comes there uh, and he takes the he grabs the match away uh, from uh, from Ireland. Uh, I mean uh, Oman were in an absolutely losing position. This bloke Amir Ali comes from nowhere and actually uh, puts Ireland out of the World Cup. Uh, so he, he has also shown that Amir Ali has shown that he has some very good uh, hitting ability uh, lower down the order. Uh, the bowling has been also very impressive according to me. Uh, I would single out Bilal Khan uh, for some good bowling. He's a, I think he's a very useful uh, left arm pace bowler. Uh, Muni Fansari, we know, is a, he has, he's basically from India. Uh, he comes from the Madhya Pradesh. Uh, and he actually uh, went to uh, went to Oman to work as normally all expatriates do, uh, and I can understand that. And he got a job there, and he was also playing his cricket. Uh, and he is also one who has really, uh, you know, got a sort of a popularity uh, with his uh, unorthodox uh, 
uh, Lasit Malinga type action and he also shown that he can pick up the wickets. We have seen how he actually picked up the wickets of Kevin O'Brien uh, by castling him. So M Muni Fansari is also uh, someone, yes definitely he got, uh, uh, he was really uh, carted today uh, but that, uh, but definitely it says the Muni Fansari, the probably age is not on his side uh, but he is also impressive and the Lalcheta is the left arm spinner who has also been impressive. So all in all, I think uh, this uh, Omani, Omani team uh, is having some real blend in them. And uh, one more thing that I would like to say about Oman, their feeling against Ireland was absolutely electric, which started off uh, with, that, uh, with that catch which was taken by Zishan Maksud. The ball was really flying away and it left uh, Peter Sterling uh, of Ireland absolutely stunned when that catch was taken out of nowhere. In fact, Zishan Maksud was the one who really started that uh, sort of uh, gave a real great start to Oman in this uh, T20 World Cup when he picked up that catch by flinging himself uh, and uh, like, a, like a goalkeeper uh, in a soccer match and uh, picking up the catch with one hand uh, before it hit the ground and as I said it left uh, Derek Sterling uh, the Ireland opener absolutely stunned uh, and that was it uh, with um, and Oman from then on uh, Oman really caught on uh, and uh, and then finally it was finished off by Amir Ali uh, but uh, one, one thing that I can say one can doff our hats off to Oman Oman you have, even though you have exited this tournament I would like to say a few things of, I mean I would just like to say that uh, Oman you have done a wonderful job in this T20 World Cup first you have come here uh, on uh, being cranked 29th in the world uh, Oman you have come here uh, and really really conquered uh, a lot of cricket fans hearts uh, with your with your brand of uh, cricket that you have played whether it be batting bowling or fielding and I think your um, Oman team is going to make a lot of sounds uh, in the future in cricket international cricket and Oman, I wish you good luck. But Oman, one thing that I can say about Oman, uh, they look to be a really aggressive bunch of cricketers and that's what I like in them. They really like to give it back and that's what one loves. And uh, what, a, what a debut for Oman. T20 World Cup coming here, pushing Ireland out of the competition uh, and almost, almost, in fact, uh, as I said, they were just one step away from qualifying uh, for the main draw, it's quite a different thing that uh, Bangladesh won it easily. Uh, but uh, who knows uh, if uh, rain, uh, rain had not really come in and ruined proceedings? Uh, I thought you would have probably had a game on hand. Uh, uh, probably one never knows. But uh, all in all, Oman, you provided some exciting cricket uh, in this uh, qualifying rounds uh, of this uh, T20 World Cup, and that Zishan Maksud catch that was taken. Um, in the extra covers uh, by this Omani, um, Omani fielder would always linger in memory uh, in this T20 World Cup. So Oman, I uh, wish you good luck uh, in your future uh, in international cricket. Uh, and that's it from me, your host Ram. As I said, there's nothing else to really cover. Tomorrow is the rest day in the T20 World Cup and then the host India take on New Zealand in the first match of the T20 World Cup proper and now really begins the T20 World Cup. So uh, with, with this with this being said, uh, this